Stockholm in the water cube with uh, Steven. Uh, Steven Mutoro, if yes. I'm correct. Yes, yes, Steven Mutoro. Please introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Steven Mutoro. I'm on the Nairobi Water Company board, but I'm also the Secretary General of the Consumers Federation of Kenya. And uh, for us, it's a beautiful thing to be in Stockholm okay. for the World Water Week. Yeah. yeah. So tell me a little bit about. Uh, the yeah, Consumer Federation? The, yeah, the Consumer Federation uh, is a young organization that uh, seeks to represent the demand side mm -hmm. of the water. Yeah. And in, as such, we look at the issue of customer relations, quality and um, service reliability. We're looking at many things you know, to do with the consumer because many of the people in the Stockholm now today, they're talking about supply. They're not mm -hmm. talking about the demand. Uh, they're, they're not talking about the demand side of it. And for us, it's very interesting to start the discussion about consumers. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're hoping that even CIWI, or the organizers of the World Water Week, would have a special day that would be dedicated to the consumers because mm -hmm. water consumers also have a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And that story is very interesting because not just about availability of water, mm -hmm. it's about how can they sustain the, 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 the availability of water, access, quality, and issues to do with the billing and uh, I mean, what have you. So it's interesting to see that we are now also as consumers getting to uh, come on board. So this is a message to see we. <laughs> yeah, it's a message to see we. It's a message to the world, particularly the policy makers, uh, be they the AMCAO, be they the uh, different organizations, you know, at policy levels, uh, parliaments of the world, that I think a time has come when we must embrace participation. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why things don't seem to work on the water and sanitation yeah. sector is because participation of the people who we intend to serve, yeah. I think, is imagined or perceived, but they do not participate uh, that clearly. So it's important that we see they can how they can derive some level of ownership, you know, in terms of helping people to uh, take the water agenda. I mean, ahead. Because now we're grappling with the issue of um, meeting the demand, but we're not looking at how can the people who are demanding for this water also participate in uh, making sure that the, the service is sustainable. So for us as Consumer Federation of Kenya, yes, I think the message is good. We've had the knowledge, but I think when they get back home, we are going to really to push for the issue of um, how, can, how can Kenyans also, ordinary people, mm -hmm. be involved in the provision and uh, policy implementation as well as the formulation of water issues. Okay, yeah. well, uh, good luck with that. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the interview, and uh, hopefully next year, if you come back, you can tell us uh, how it went. We certainly will be back. Okay. Yeah, we certainly will be back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh.